A Baltimore City police officer is caught on camera storming into the apartment where he allegedly beat his wife. Tonight, he's behind bars. His wife in the hospital. Jeff Abel now has the video you're seeing first on Fox. The officer was supposed to be on routine duty, but when he parked behind his wife's vehicle in West Baltimore on Monday, video we obtained from area surveillance cameras suggests he was on a mission, desperate to gain entry into an apartment where his wife and another man were sleeping. But when no one answered the door, video shows the officer kicking his way inside. That's the room where my uncle and the woman she was sleeping at. It was a non-stop mission to find the officer's wife who was in a bedroom this room right here. With another man, oh, this man, man, Ajlan Abdullah. But I was, I was thinking I was going to die. But God saved me, you know? The officer, detectives say, is Guarberto Diaz, a six-year veteran of the city police force. But on this day, investigators say the cop had turned criminal, accused of kicking and beating his wife in one room while Abdullah escaped to his nephew's bedroom and leaped out a second floor window. So when my uncle ran, he splashes the window because he thought it was open and it wasn't. He jumped out and he broke it and he went to the other apartment. And then he come back and he put the gun to my head right there. 20 minutes after he entered the building, the officer and his wife left. She went one way around the building, the officer went another. Both wound up at their vehicles where she drove straight to the hospital. I'm thinking it's crazy right now, I can't escape. It's unbelievable what he did. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Meantime, the police officer remains in jail without bond tonight and is suspended right now from the police force. A woman and her boyfriend, both attacked by police, say by her estranged husband. The husband is behind bars, and the ordeal may have already cost him his job. ABC2 News' Lamont Williams spoke with two of the victims who described exactly what happened in southwest Baltimore. 9.30 in the morning, Osla Amadula was still in bed with his girlfriend in his apartment above his convenience store. His nephew was sleeping in another room when all of a sudden, someone broke in. He broke the, the, the bottom door, and then he broke the second one in the apartment, and then he just ran to me when I was sleeping. My uncle, he ran, and he smashed it, and then poof, and that one would wake me up, and my uncle ran, and then... And he had a gun, so I'm trying to save my life. But this wasn't just a burglary. He was in police uniform, police gun, and police car. That officer, police say, was the estranged husband of Emma Dula's girlfriend, Guarberto Diaz. Police say Diaz pulled out his gun and started making threats. And then my nephew was sleeping in the next room, so he went to him and he pressed him, he put the gun in his head. They put the gun on my head and asked for my uncle, nothing else. And Medulla says he ran through the room and jumped out of a window, getting several cuts as he ran away. Officers say Diaz then attacked his wife, who was still in the apartment. They went back to work in the Northwest District and asked for the rest of the day off. Police didn't find out about what happened until later in the afternoon. Uh, Mr. Diaz has been relieved of his duties. Uh, it's violation of criminal law where this individual is alleged to have, and we have evidence to believe that he in fact did uh, commit some serious felony violations. And Medulla says he captured the whole thing on security cameras connected to his store below. We will not tolerate um, the willful disobedience of laws and certainly the breaking of uh, violation of criminal laws and you will be prosecuted. As a police officer he came he, so imagine today he did it to me the next day he's gonna do it to anybody. In Baltimore I'm Lamont Williams ABC 2 News. Diaz is being held at the Baltimore City Detention Center without bail. He is also suspended without pay from the police department. He's been on the force for six years. A city police officer is charged with a felony after police say he attacked his wife and her boyfriend. He was on duty and in uniform at the time. It's just the latest in a string of cases where city officers are accused of abusing their power. WJZ is live at police headquarters. Christy Aletto speaks to the victim in this latest incident. Christy? Well, Vic Ajlan Abdullah says he knew his girlfriend was separated from Officer Alberto Diaz, but never thought he'd be staring down the barrel of his gun. Officer Alberto Diaz was supposed to be on the clock. Instead, police say he drives a squad car to the home of his wife's boyfriend. The chaos inside Ajlan Abdul's apartment tells a story of a violent love triangle. He broke the bottom door and then he broke the second one in the apartment. Charging documents say the 35-year-old is 
filled with rage. He tears the front door off its hinges, punches and kicks his wife in the head and face before pointing his service weapon at her, saying he wants to kill her. I think Mr. Diaz um, acted so far outside of the realm of what is acceptable. Ugly allegations top brass say are made worse by the fact Diaz is on duty, dressed in full uniform. Yes. At that moment, what yes. was running through your mind? Was running to my mind since I tried to see me, but he flashed the gun to my face. I have a little chance and then I have to run. Fearing for his life, Abdul says he smashed through the second story window and then ran to his neighbor's house to get help. Oh, he was looking for my uncle because my uncle ran, so he was. He came to me, he put the gun to my head, he was telling me what happened, where's he at, this, I was like, I don't know. Jibril al Samet is dead. almost caught in the crossfire. An individual used their role as a police officer to try to solve some of their personal issues. Issues police say Diaz never disclosed when he returned to work moments after unleashing that fury of violence. And the six-year police vet has been suspended without pay. Vic, back to you. Thank you, Christy. Diaz is at the Baltimore City Detention Center without bail. Another city police officer is accused of breaking the law tonight. Jeff Abel spoke with the victim and is live at police headquarters with his story. Jeff. Well, the top brass here are struggling tonight to figure out what went wrong in this case. An officer of six years who was out yesterday supposed to be serving and protecting is tonight accused of beating and endangering. In the apartment above their store, yeah, he, that's where he kicked it. The owner and his family were awakened by the sounds of violence. He broke the wall, he broke the table, he broke the TV. An armed intruder had crashed through the apartment door. Residents say he was on a mission to find his wife, who was in a bedroom with Ajan Abdullah. So I think I was gonna die. But God saved me, you know? Once inside, witnesses say he went right through the den, right through the kitchen, and right toward the bedroom where both victims were staying. The intruder, police say, was one of their own. Officer Gualberto Diaz, a six-year veteran who was on duty when investigators say he stormed into the bedroom, assaulted his wife, and sent Ajlan Abdullah running. So when my uncle ran, he splashes the window because he thought it was open and it wasn't. He jumped out and he broke it and he went to the other apartment. And then he comes back and he put the gun to my head right there. Alsamet says the officer spent 15 minutes beating his wife and then left in his patrol car. Even the, the mere presence of being in uniform and taking the law into his own hands, though for us, is, is egregious and uh, we're not going to stand for it. Detectives say Officer Diaz returned to the police station without mentioning a word of the incident. He's now facing a string of charges. I'm thinking it's crazy. I, I can't escape. It's unbelievable what he did. Do you think he's a police officer? He could do anything he wants. But he doesn't know he's going to make this state look bad. No. Well, that officer is suspended from the force tonight and remains in jail without bond. We're live at police headquarters. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.